So you just bought all of these really cool PC parts. You put them together, your motherboard has the CPU in, and your cooler is cooling, and the power supply is just waiting for you to turn on that on button. But when you get to that part, you get a very unsettling, no signal on your display. Today guys, I'm gonna tell you a few things that you can troubleshoot on your new build to try and resolve this very uneasy, no signal problem. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian and this is Brian on an Island where we do tech and gaming. And guys, you can see a new build that I have just put together behind me with these really cool fans. Look at that, you can change it to any color you want with this little remote. Very nice, very fancy. But guys, sometimes you might put parts together and you might end up with a no signal to the display. So one of the first things that you can do to fix this is by resetting the CMOS. Now we're gonna head over to the case for the rest of this video and for the rest of the troubleshooting tips. And then hopefully this will help you guys be able to resolve whatever problem might have been happening with your system that would be causing this no signal fault. All right guys, one of the first things that you can do before you even remove any parts is you just wanna lay your PC to the side and you want to reset the CMOS. Now, this is a very old uh, motherboard. It's an i3 board. I can't even remember what CPU I have in there. But what you need to do most times for old boards is just remove this, um, this watch battery and that will clear the CMOS. Other boards have um, this fancy two pin switch that you can move around and um, hold the power on button for about 30 seconds. That resets the CMOS as well. Put everything back together. You'll replace the watch battery and put it back in. And hopefully when you press the on button, you should get some life on that monitor. So if that doesn't work, the second thing that you can look at is whether you have a faulty stick of RAM. Now, if you're using old parts, then this is very unlikely, but if you're using RAM that's been reused several times, for example, if you're an avid PC builder and you're always removing sticks of RAM from one computer to another, then RAM is a really good place to start and maybe it would solve the problem. All you wanna do is click um, both RAMs out or however many slots of RAM that you have in the PC and put them back in one by one and try to get a signal on the monitor. If you try, for example, two sticks of RAM and that gets a signal on the motherboard, then you know that you have at least one stick of RAM that's not working how it should be. Another thing that you can do to check this no signal fault is by removing your graphics card and making sure that everything within your graphics card is working properly. Now, some of these graphics cards, they have six or eight pins um, connected to the power supply and a lot of PC builders might not have a conversion that they need to get a six pin to an eight pin. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I think it's better to be safer than sorry and actually get the correct pins that you need for your graphics card. You also wanna take your graphics card out and make sure if it is an old graphics card that there's not any dust going on in there. And sometimes you can even try it in a different system to see if it, if it would give a display to the monitor. And if it does, then you know your graphics card isn't really the problem. But I would say try a different graphics card into the system that you want to give the signal to the monitor to, and that would let you know if it was in fact the graphics card or if there's a different problem with the system. Guys, something else that can give you a no signal fault is the power supply. Now this is one of the most expensive parts to replace in your PC, but really listen to me, don't cheap out on it because a good power supply can have your PC running for a long time and a bad power supply can have your PC out the door before you even start gaming on it. So check your power supply. Now there's videos on YouTube that you can use that will teach you how to test the 12V rail on your power supply, but if you have another motherboard or another system that you can test the power supply with. You can connect it to a motherboard really quickly and jumpstart the motherboard. And if it starts and gives a signal to the display, then you know the power supply most likely isn't the problem. There are also some apps that you can download that would give you a few tests that you can run that would put some strain on the power supply. And if it fails while running these tests, then you would know that the power supply may or may not be the problem. 
Now guys, last but not least, something that can really make your system not give a display is the CPU. Now, if you have your processor connected to the cooler and it is not making enough contact, one, or if it is not dispersing the heat fast enough, then your PC understanding that there is not a sufficient cooling that's going on within your system could cause a no signal to happen. What you want to do is make sure that when you're putting your PC together, you put enough thermal paste or thermal compound, whatever it is that you're using on the processor properly and that you get it nice and snug flush faced with the cooler and that it is cooling properly for your system another piece of advice that I could give if you have tried a lot of these I would say to go on some forums and some YouTube videos to try and figure out what really is going on with the system and what you can do to make sure that everything that you have is working to figure out what might be the problem. And if all else fails and your parts are new, you could issue a claim and send those parts back for a return and get something new and hopefully that will solve your problem. If that's not the case and the parts that you're using are fairly old and not used, I would say to try them in as many different systems as possible. If you know a friend's computer or a work computer, try the parts as much as possible before you throw away because I have had instances where I've thrown PC parts away and they've actually been worth the money. I mean, even some of the parts in this build behind me, I've had in a box for about two to three months and I just popped them back into the build and all of a sudden they started working very, very well. But anywho guys, those are the tips that I can give you to try and fix a no signal display and guys, Keep on gaming. I really hope this video helped you. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you drop a like and a subscribe and I will see you guys the next time I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I am out.